Hey everyone, Senrai Kai here. Today I'm going to be watching the 6th episode of Saikin Yatota Meidoga Ayashi. And last episode we had a pretty pretty fun time because we got to go to the sports festival. And we also got to bring Lilith along. Not only did she go along, she also participated, right? That's why she was informed to wear the easy to move in clothing. We also got to see her some pom-poms and even like a nice mid-card there as well. You know, outfit-wise for Lilith. But uh, yeah, good stuff. So... Let's just jump on into episode six and see see what goes down. Three, two, one, play. You know what? Uh, scratch that. I messed that up. We're gonna try that again. So, three, two, one, play. I got it to work that time. And we are starting with the opening this time. Yeah, I think everything's fine. I mean, it's never like 100% perfect, but it is good enough as I call it. Tsukasa, what would this show be without you? I mean, somebody's got to ship these two, right, in the show. Tsukasa fills that role. Still don't know what that's about. Also, still haven't met that one girl, the orange head girl. Bum, 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 bum. Yes, her. So do we get a title? The maid I hired recently is weird. Oh yeah, oh yeah, I remember that now. As if he's just not finding that out. Okay, so there's bribery. That's why. I was wondering why it was today she was going to do it. Definitely struck a chord with her. Oh, a storm's brewing. That's kind of ominous. I think I hear rain. You know, okay, there it is. But I uh, okay, okay, never, never mind. Uh, yeah, I, I, I noticed. I, I was gonna make a joke about how you know I wonder if um, you like when it rains if the bunch makes like a pool in our cleavage, but uh, you know. <laughs> yeah, that would be amazing. I can never predict his responses to those things. Oh, she got a cold, didn't she? Because usually, I know my protagonist would say something like, you know, don't be stupid, Baka, go do it yourself or whatever. But no, he, he doesn't roll that way. But yeah, it makes sense. She has a cold. She's going to, yeah, falter on her job a little bit. So hopefully, we, you know, we can get her to lay down. <laughs> Because it's only a matter of time before he realizes what's going on and, you know, makes her, I assume. Forces her to go to bed. Oh, wow, okay. Uh, he got a little bit of a... Gonna have a blood pool. Okay. Come on, Yuri, you know what... You, you, you gotta... You gotta pick up on what's going on here. That she's not feeling well. Like, it's not that hard to figure out. Yeah, there's the Okashi from the title. A 
It's just you. You know what? That's not a bad idea. <laughs> but seriously, get to bed. There we go. Finally. <laughs> Although the only problem is now, who does the housework and stuff? Yeah, probably. We call it back, I've made. Okay, that is not staying laying down. <laughs> Focus on getting better, please. Not on what he's doing. Understandable. Don't, don't you do that. You're supposed to make her stay in bed, Yuri. Ugh. You need to call in reinforcements just to make her stay in bed. You're clearly not. Maids are allowed to take breaks once in a while when they need it. It's, it's okay. Okay, just... He called you his precious family like just last episode. He's not gonna like abandon you or anything. Yes, exactly. That would be ridiculous. Huh. That can only work when she's on the ground. Well, we got through to her. That's good. Is she feeling better? Yeah, it looks like we had a time cut. As long as you're better, that's what matters. Yeah. <laughs> it does that a lot. And that's actually a typical Batman protagonist thing to say, you know. A girl's blushing, what, do you have a fever? But at least it makes sense in this context. Be one lucky doctor. <laughs> that, was a, that was a great title drop. One of the best in a while. Oh. <sighs> Well, yeah, I could. I picked up on that. Just trying to help out. Yeah, it's what you don't pay her for. Yes. <laughs> I mean, man, he he responded with some real logic right there. Uh, I definitely understand that one. There is absolutely nothing wrong with that. <laughs> I just, as always, I'm impressed in his ability to just say these things without faltering or feeling embarrassed in the slightest. I, I couldn't do it. <laughs> this, are you this, seriously? What is she gonna go get? A thermom? No. A blanket? Okay. No! I think she has a high body temperature. <laughs> Do not ask that forbidden question. Because it makes for a great character design. <laughs> oh, okay. I guess that's an answer. I 
This episode is just going to be these two floating pretty much the whole time, isn't it? I mean, you can see that's what a lot of the episodes are, but still. Still try to avoid it as best you can. <laughs> as we've established, her being suspicious is a good thing. It's it's what's right for her. Halloween? Making Halloween costumes or Okay. Okay, now I'm all caught up. <laughs> yeah, I'm I'm glad I have a chance to have more to Castle. He really is. And wow, he is actually blushing. Oh, there's no doubt there's no doubt that she's amazing. That was already established way, way ago. Is she about to give us some backstory on herself there? I go with blue. I think red might seem a bit better. <laughs> uh, that's a good choice too. She'll be a succubus. Anything else just wouldn't just wouldn't feel right. I mean, a witch would make sense as well, I guess. <laughs> is that a cap? Oh, is that a cusp? Because it give yeah, she, she was to be a cat girl. That'd, that'd be pretty great too. Oh, but yeah, that does sound fun. That does sound exciting. I will play dress up, but dress up with you. <laughs> Dragon? Uh, okay. Uh, yeah, that, she's a main track. Oh god, we're full Kobayashi now. <laughs> oh my god, she's this a main track. I can't. I can't even. I didn't get. I didn't get a good chance to look at Tsukasa's outfit. <laughs> I mentioned May Dragon, but she actually kind of reminds me of the one dragon character from a. Uh, uh, what was the show called? Minaria Friends, I think. That's, that's the first thing that came to mind was that character from that show. <laughs> But yeah, Tsukasa looks like a, like a prince, I guess. I guess she looks nice. Oh, bunny rabbits. Not a lot of people, but that looks like an amazing party otherwise. <laughs> Can't get over the fact that she's a maid dragon. Right? <laughs> I'm not gonna remember that, but I'm sure it's delicious. I actually kinda wanna rewatch Minaria Friends now. Hopefully that's the name of the show and I'm not messing it up. The cake looks delicious. And we gotta break out the twister. Another game of twister. Also, can that just be her new maid outfit? I think it might like it better than her normal outfit. It kind of looks like one of those, um, one of the three stones from Zelda Queen of Time. The forest one. <laughs> yeah, we know why, we know why she ain't invited them. Uh, 
is everyone staring? Yeah, I guess she's not dressed up. I didn't really think about that. But she should dress up too. What are, what are we going to put her in? <laughs> I'm really curious. Hopefully it's something... Is that a prince? Is that like... Is that a princess outfit? Oh my god. That looks great, but her blush really makes the outfit. The embarrassment is the spice, the the frosting on the cake of that outfit. <laughs> There's nothing wrong here at all. <laughs> uh, that's... <laughs> <laughs> she is enjoying this. I also think that would be my th think that's gonna be my thumbnail for the episode. <laughs> no, I can't have evidence, permanent record that I've dressed like this. People must never know. I didn't really comment on it, but his outfit's actually pretty good too. And she dressed back. Unfortunate. It's another day. Okay, making me want to ship this too. Okay, let's take a little bit of a break before we think about that. She's making sure to get her screen time this episode. What are you looking for? Making sure nobody was watching, I guess. Oh, no! Oh, we did take a picture. A sneaky picture. Please give me one. I like how she was up close and personal to the camera. Oh, that's a good picture. He's getting a bunch of frosts on the face. Very fidgety. Only made I need. He's like, yes, I suppose. Okay. What do we have? Is it like a fun package or just a letter? I can't read that. Uh... Seems to be not good news, judging by her reaction. Yeah, you just, you better appreciate how lucky you are. Okay, yeah, now, now I'm really worried. That actually was suspicious, yeah. He don't use that word, but that definitely was. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Just yell it. As usual. <sighs> yeah, what are you hiding from us, Lilith? When is later? So, what could the letter be? What was that, like a request for her to come back to somewhere else? You know, something that would make her leave here. That would be really unfortunate. But yeah, there's still not much we know about her back background.
Ah, c'est ça. Okay, that is not what I wanted to hear. That just kind of confirmed my concerns. Should I have to clarify where it is? At least give me that. But yeah, pretty much what I thought. Found. Did you run away? Yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't either. They had to pry her from my cold, dead hands. Yeah, you can't just pack up and leave now. <laughs> you tell her. Can't disobey your master. And the end of the trash it goes. It's where it belongs. So maybe the orange haired girl comes to is part of that. Whatever organization sent the letter. She came to retrieve her, maybe. Maybe that's the context of the orange haired girl. And then she just stays instead. I don't know. I feel like I've seen that happen in anime before. Yeah, then wrong credits. Whew. I feel like they, they had a lot in this episode. Not in my textbook. Okay, is it like talking about a literal textbook, like a, like it's a Yuri thing, or is it like a, that word's not in my dictionary sort of thing? Like how literal should I take that? I, I don't know. But yeah, that was the sixth right sixth episode of Psyche Yatota Meidoga Ayashi. And yeah, this was a really, really solid episode here. Like we started off early on with a little bit of shopping in rain, which is all pretty much just set up for having a a maid with a cold, right? A sick, a sick maid. So at that point, yeah, we pretty much had to just put her to bed. And she does the typical thing of trying to avoid relaxing and just working, right? Not a, not an uncommon thing amongst you know Japanese people, anime characters, you know, all that. But in her case, you know, she has an uh, extra thing with, like, not wanting to be abandoned or whatever like that. You know, wanting to feel useful, feel needed, right? So, but resting is important, like, working until you collapse or whatever, that's that's no good to anybody, right? So, you might be, you can't, you can will, will yourself to do a lot, but you can't will yourself to work an entire day if you're in bad condition, right? And even if you send a man to do that, that 
be terrible for your health. But anyway, the point is we got her in bed. We got her to calm down. And before you knew it, like, blink of an eye, she was better. So oh, that's certainly a good thing. Because he had that. I had a little bit of Yuri trying to help out because he's a good boy. He he, he realizes she could use a little bit of help and was more than happy to give it. So, so that's good to see. And then we have the Halloween stuff, which is one of the more... You know, exciting things in the episode. Because <laughs> we have uh, Yuri, he's like a sage, he's got a nice staff. Even, well, his cloak is even kind of like Halloween color themed, like with the orange and black. But it's pretty cool. And we also had Lilith, who's a made, made dragon. I can't tell the straight face. But yeah, because she has the dragon tail, the wings, and the night outfit, you know? <laughs> like, I do like how she just keeps, but she dresses up other, as other stuff. It still maintains the maidness to it, right? Because it was like that with the sports festival. So I do enjoy that. And Tsukasa has like a prince outfit going on, I'm pretty sure. Which is pretty cool. The only problem was Fujisaki Fuji was not was not in a costume yet. So we fixed that. We somehow managed to force her into a princess outfit. And her embarrassment over that made it the made it the best. The absolute best. And we even managed to sneak a picture, which I do want to take a better look at the picture later on, right? But yeah, Tsukasa really enjoyed her in that outfit for sure. It makes sense too, because she was a prince, so Fujisaki gets to be a princess at all. It all works out. Let's see, where's that picture? Yeah, here it is. Yeah, pretty much just because, yeah, Tsukasa is like away from them. She's got the camera and like holds it in front of her, like kind of a selfie mode. But make sure to get everyone else in the background as well. And yeah, just... Fujisaki actually looks really good in that outfit. Like, if this is like the first episode of a show and that, the first thing I saw was her in that outfit, I would assume she was just a princess, you know? Not a Halloween costume, but just an actual princess. Like, she she pulls it off really well. I think it's good. But, uh, yeah, Tsukasa continues to be a really fun character. I am so glad she's in this show. But couldn't be happy for too long. We had to get some bad news, which was... Wherever, wherever Lilith is from apparently wants her back, but uh, that's a no-go. Yuri, uh, you know, Yuri is her master now. She works here, so you can't just have her leave. So just toss the thing in the trash where it belongs, and I'm sure there will be no repercussions from that. But uh, yeah, all joking aside, I, I gave you, during the episode itself, I gave you my theory about the orange hair girl and how she's connected to all this, and we'll see if that's true soon enough. But yeah, good episode. That's all, that's all I really got to say about it, so thank you for watching, and hope to see you in the next video. Until then, bye-bye.